Uh, so this is the circuit connection for the delta as you can see just like star. So here we have this input connection you can see this input is going to input. Once you have given this then no need to touch this uh, connection in the entire circuit then the other connections will follow. Okay, This connection is at the input already. Now look at this circuit this is R from R one line emitter is coming and line emitter is going here wherein you can see these and these two connections are being shorted so here the red color one you can see here the red color one is being named as u1 the yellow color one is named as v1 and the blue color one is named as w1 either you keep with the same thing u1 or u2 that means this is r1 and r2 similarly v1 and v2 means y1 and y2 this blue color one w1 and w2 this v1 and v2 so either you remember this or if you don't want to remember you can also write this as R1 and R2 that is U1 and U2 and similarly you can write Y1 and Y2 in terms of V1 and V2 and V1 and V2 in terms of W1 and W2 as you can see over here. So here we can see this according to this R1 and V2 are shorted. So R1 and V2 would mean R1 means your U1 and V2 means your W2. So U1 and W2 you can short. From U1 and W2 you short. So short this connection. So once we start from here, we, we are going to give to the line. Here, this is the line. And here you see we are going to short U1, that is this, and W2, that is this. U1 and W2 needs to be shorted. U1 and W2 I am shorting and the other end of the I phase over there you can see the other end of the I phase sorry the I line I will go to this I line So this is the connection that I have done. Now this up to here I have done. So this R connection is over. Okay now we will take the another series connection from Y. So Y you see Y2 another connection is going to R2. R2 is nothing but our U2. So Y directly U2 from Y. Y directly I am going to give it to U. Here and between here you go and between U2 from Y so for sorry from Y there is an emitter first and then there is see over here v1 and v2 is internally given then uh, here you see between v2 and w2 that is between v2 and v1 we have to short so we have to short this connection after that that is your this connection needs to be shorted This is the connection that I have shorted. Here, this is the connection that I have shorted, and this up to here it has been done. Then from B, you can give to this either of the short. From the B, Either of 
connections are promoted. This is y to the u2, then u2 to phase y to u2 here. y to u2, to u2 to the face, these dimensions are like this. y to u2, to u2 to face, just resume it. Look at the circuit between r and y, okay. So here this is r and y. And here this is V line voltage, so we need to give R to this part and Y to this part. Assume it. Face over here, you can see this is the face uh, voltage. This can be connected between V1 and V2, which is W1 and W2. So this face voltage over here, W1 and W2. So from W1 here, from W2, W2 there. So now I have connected V face here between W1 and this is given to W2 okay so now I'll switch on the circuit in the delta connection my V phase should be equal to my V line and my I phase should be equal to root 3 times I line or I phase should be uh, sorry I line should be root 3 times I phase or I phase should be I line by root 3 so I'm going to switch on the circuit just just observe the voltages here so if you look at this this is 422 and this is also same almost same now when I will, it is right now it is showing no current, so I will just put one load and once I am putting the load, you can see here, this is your I phase, this is your I line, I line is 1.041, divide this by root 3, you will get the I phase value. So this is the experiment, uh, you are getting similarly here also if you are putting, so 2.063, of that root 3 is that, so the current is very high, so what we will do is that, okay, got it. <coughs> 